Hello Divination and welcome. We have a five part mini series for you. How to create an elegant wedding website with Divi. Throughout this tutorial, I'll be using the visual builder and you get to see me build this website step by step behind the scenes. The goal of this mini series is to inspire you and show you the power of Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to build this website. Okay, so we are now on part five of our five part mini series. In this video, we'll be showing you how to create a timeline. So before we begin, we need to download this plugin from the Elegant Marketplace. So this is the link to the marketplace and this is the plugin that we need. The plugin costs $11, so all you need to do is to purchase this and then download the plugin onto your computer. So once that's in place, what we need to do is to upload the plugin. But before we do that, let's stress the importance of this page. So this page gives a very precise and clear indication of how the day is going to be on the day of the wedding. So this is really, really good because when people come to the website, they will know that at this specific time, this item is happening. So this also helps the event to be organized and everyone is up to speed with what's going on on the day. OK, so let's go ahead and install our plugin. So come over here to plugins, click on add new. And then you need to click on upload plugin, choose the plugin. Now, if you've downloaded it, it should be in your downloads folder. So you need to go ahead and double click this plugin. I've already gone ahead and installed this plugin and I've also activated it. The next thing we need to do now is to create a brand new page, which is going to have our timeline. So come over here to pages, click on add new. And then over here on the page, you can give it a title. Now I'm calling mine wedding schedule, but you can call yours whatever name you want. I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder. Normally we would use the Visual Builder, but because this is a third party plugin, it doesn't work with the Visual Builder. So we're going to do this tutorial pretty much in our normal builder. OK, so now let's go ahead and click on insert modules. So we need a single column and in the modules, we need to add the timeline vertical. OK, so I'm going to click on that. Now, before we go ahead and start adding all our items, we need to make some global changes. So let's come over here to design. So let's start off with our default font. So our font needs to be set to railway light. And we need to make sure that it's set to bold. The size is, is good at 14 pixels. And then we're going to come over here and add our hexadecimal color. OK, and then scroll over here and make sure that your text line height is set to 1 EM. OK, the next item is the item labeled text. OK, so we need to select railway light, set it to bold. But this time it needs to be set to 39 pixels. And over here on the color, I'm just going to paste my hexadecimal value. And on the line height, it's fine at 1.5 EM. OK, moving on, let's go and adjust the headings text. So our font here needs to be set to tangerine. And the size needs to be set to 70. OK, so uh, in this case here, we're going to change the size for this tablet and smart and smartphone. So I'm going to come over here and change this to 60. And that automatically does it for the smartphone. OK, so 70 for the desktop and 60 for the tablet and smartphone. OK, let's come over here to the headings text color. I'm going to paste my hex value in here that and we are OK at 1.5 EM. OK, let's come over here to our content tab because we need to change the central line color. So I'm going to come over here and paste my hexadecimal value. OK, so that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and exit. It's time to add our items. So to add a new a brand new item, let's click on add new item. We need to give it a title. I'm going to call this Bride's Hair and Makeup. We also need a description in the content area. So I'm just going to paste my dummy text. And then here for the timeline label, I'm just going to say 7 a.m. That's where the time goes. And then we're going to scroll all the way down here and let's choose our icon. So the icon we're looking for here is the heart. So here it is. And then finally, we need to add the icon color and the icon background color. OK, so I'm going to paste the icon color in here. And then finally, I'm going to add my icon background color. OK, that's looking good. I'm going to click on save. Now let's do a quick preview and see if all this is working. So I'm going to click this eye icon and now we can see that it's looking pretty cool. 
So now that we have our first item on the timeline, what we need to do is to add more items to populate the timeline. Now, if we go in and start doing these settings over and over again, it's going to take us a long time. So the quickest way to do this is to clone this item and then just go in and amend the settings. So I'm going to come over here into the settings and I'm going to change this title from Bride's Hair and Makeup to Wedding Shoot. I'm going to change the time to 8 a.m. And I'm also going to do the same over here. OK, click Save. Now, let's do a quick preview so we can see what is really happening with the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this page and then we're going to view the page. So I'm going to click on View. And now we can see that our timeline is now working. So what you need to do now is to go back in and um, duplicate all these and add and keep adding more unt until you have all the items that you need for your timeline. Once you've added all your items to your list, it should look something like this. However, the titles of these and the times these things are happening could be different according to your plan. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on Save and Exit. And I'm going to click on Update and Preview the page. So I'm going to come over here to our new tab and we're going to refresh this. So this is our final page. If you'd like, you can go ahead and add a hero image but pretty much this page does what it's supposed to do. So everyone that visits this website can see what is happening at a specific time. And as you go through this, it has the whole schedule on this page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we post new videos similar to what you've seen today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.